It's over 600 of his so-called debate shows ago that Nathan Oakley started to spread his nonsense about celestial navigation. And he still gets it terribly wrong. Listen to this fragment of a discussion he had in his Flat Earth debate number 2074 around his this topic with someone who does understand how celestial navigation works. Just like a dip correction would be in, in celestial navigation, it's the same kind of thing. It uses the, the, R, the R term and uh, brings you back to the surface, essentially. Precisely. Of a geometric sphere, or, you know, geometrically it takes you back to the surface. Of a flat plane? Surface level in the well, maths is flat? Because, I mean, we'll agree to disagree. Do you want to um, show me the maths and I'll show you? Well, it's not a agree disagree situation. Stop. I don't need any help. It's not an agree-disagree situation. Let me state it to you as a fact, regardless of your belligerent disagreement with a fact that surface level in Earth curve maths is flat. That's a fact. Whether you want to like it is different. Disagreeing with it isn't an option. It's a fact. The surface level in Earth curve maths is flat. You don't have to like it. This whole discussion pivots around Oakley's false claim that the surface level in Earth curve math is flat. This, of course, is not true, as just about everything Oakley says is not true. Watch what happens when after Oakley claims that you can only measure an angle from a flat surface, his opponent rightly states that you can measure an angle from horizontal or vertical. If you're going to measure with respect to the surface and get an angle from that surface, it's a prerequisite that it's flat. There is no on another model because there's no acquisition of angles from a globe model or a concave model or a seashell shaped model. It's got to be flat. It's a prerequisite to get an angle. Well, you acquire a baseline, right? You can either acquire a horizontal baseline or a vertical baseline and then work from that, right? You can get an equal altitude angle or you can get an elevation angle, right? You can work with both of those. It's get eerily silent. And the computer didn't get stuck, as you can see in the moving of the green letters on the left side of the screen. Oakley just doesn't have an answer. But it gets even funnier. Oakley claims that when you rise in elevation, the angle to the stars stays the same. On a flat Earth with stars relatively close by, this seems a strange observation, as Oakley's opponent states. You don't have to make any assumptions about what it does. It just does not change the angle that you measure with altitude. Those are just facts that you deal with when you're dealing with celestial navigation. There's no assumptions being made. You're just measuring the angle to a star. It's, it's pretty spooky that um, you raise an elevation and the elevation angle to the stars doesn't change. That's like a spooky phenomenon, right? And what's the reaction of Oakley? Yeah, we describe that as the majesty of the heavens. What's your point? Right. And then he repeats his mantra about you not being able to measure an angle from a curved surface again. You can't ever get an angle from a globe. Ever. So don't start the sentence, well, on a globe, how that would work. No, you're not getting angles from globes. Ever. So this doesn't work on a globe. I don't, I don't take geometry. I don't take geometry from the surface. I'm just taking geometry from free space. Then his opponent says that you don't measure any angle relative to the surface, but you do it in free space. And then Oakley makes the quintessential move all flat earthers make when in trouble. Focusing on two isolated words, free space. So like, what Why? Is are we, are we, oh, oh, my bad. Are we navigating free space or the surface when we navigate with the stars? Because this is celestial navigation that works with a flat plane. You seem to now be wandering off into la la land where we navigate right. free space. No, my no. question while you run with me, are you scared for, of this man. question? Are you scared for me to point out that we're navigating the surface of the ground, the, the earth, as opposed to free space out at tangent points that aren't ground positions? We're not navigating free space. We're navigating the ground. That must be flat for this to function and get angles. We don't get angles from curved surfaces. You haven't acknowledged that. 
he starts to accuse his opponent of doing celestial navigation in free space, not on the ground as he is supposed to do, and he continues with another of his standard tricks, playing the dominant party, asking if his opponent is scared, and demanding to acknowledge that Oakley is right and he is wrong. And he puts his cherry on the cake by saying this in quite a derogative manner, ending his rant with his usual childish attempt to imitate someone who is really funny. And saying that you're working out in free space when we're dealing with, and I quote, celestial navigation, we're navigating the ground yeah. and measuring the ground flat. That's the fourth time you've interrupted this very devastating and obviously hard to listen to point. That we're going to be measuring it and navigating it flat. And that which we are navigating is the ground, not free space. The ground. You understand that? So celestial navigation, it means navigation with data you get from observing the sky can only be done on the ground and that ground must be flat. It rather nicely summarizes Oakley's level of understanding, or should I say, his level of totally misunderstanding celestial navigation and basic geometry. And that, after more than 600 shit shows of doing just the same stupid things over and over again. But I must give him this, at least he doesn't use the wrong term necessary antecedent anymore. He now uses the correct term, prerequisite. It's always nice to know that someone listens to me once in a while.